Hi, we cool friends and family, Chef Mary here. And um, today I wanted to show you uh, how to make adorable caramel apple dip sugar cookies. And so these cookies are cookies that are on a stick. And when we're finished, they're gonna look just like a caramel apple that you would get at a county fair or something that you would pick up while you're picking up apples from the apple orchard here in Minnesota. And so um, what we've done here is, this is really all about decorating. And so we've given you everything to make the sugar cookies, but what we really wanted to do is emphasize on how you shape and create these caramel apples today. So make your sugar cookie dough and then press pause and then come back when you got your dough made and then you can jump right in with us here as we create our cookies. All right, so to do this, what I've got is I've just got a three inch round cookie cutter. If you do not have a round cookie cutter at home, you can use a glass, that totally works. And then I've got my dough here, it's chilled, it's rolled out so it is ready to cut. And we're gonna take and we're gonna grab our round cutter and we're just gonna cut out a circle and circles out of your dough. Your dough should make about 12 or a dozen apple cookies. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it with this one. I'm gonna move my other dough off to the side so you can kind of see. And I'm gonna move my cookie here to a lightly floured countertop instead of the cutting board so you can see what's going on. So our goal is to get an apple shape. And so when you're working with apples and in your recipe, it's gonna have one dip in the top and two dips in the bottom. And what that's going to do is when it comes out of the oven, it's going to look like this. And it's gonna have the one dip on top and the two dips in the bottom when they come out of the oven. And so I've got my little apple here. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just like shape it in my hand a little bit to get it a little bit more apple and ovally shaped. And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna press a V shape into the top of the apple. So it's gonna kind of look like the top of a heart is the shape that we're looking for, for the top of the apple. Go in, because remember that they do spread out a little bit in the oven. And so you want it to be a pretty dramatic V shape so that when it kind of comes together, you still have that shape there. And so this is the first shape that we've got. So I've got that nice deep V there. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom of the apple, but I'm gonna give it two little dips. So I'm gonna take my thumbs and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna press into the apple two little V's, kind of using my fingernails there, and just kind of shape them. So I still have the bottom of my apple, but I've still got, I've got a round little apple bottom there. There we go. All right. And while you're doing this, the important thing to do is to really, when you're, is to make sure that it is still thick and that you are not um, pressing down to make it a thin apple. We wanna make sure that the apple is still a thick apple. All right, so I've kinda got my dips the way that I want them. There's a little bump in the middle. There we go. So I can kinda show you there. All right. So there's my apple shape right there. I've got my little dips on the bottom of the apple and I've got a little dip on top. It kinda looks like a little bat. Maybe for Halloween you could turn them into bats too. All right, so then what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your sticks that came in your kit and you're gonna carefully insert the stick about halfway through your apple shape and then put them on a baking sheet so the cookies are at least an inch away from each other. And then you're gonna chill that sheet of cookies for at least 15 minutes in the refrigerator or freezer so that the dough stays firm enough so that it doesn't lose its shape when it's in the oven. So if you have very warm dough and you pop it in the oven, the cookie spreads out too much and then you're gonna end up, well, they'll just be big round apples. They won't have as much defined apple shape. So we've done that. I've got, I've got a whole bunch of little apples here ready to decorate. And so what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna move my extra dough here out of the way and brush my flour off of the counter. Get that out of the way there. So I can show you guys how to decorate this. So in your kit, you've got three containers of icing, green, red, and caramel. And you also have some very adorable little sprinkles to put on there too. And so I just wanted to walk you through briefly how to decorate with royal icing. Um, some of the tricks that we've kind of found that are helpful. First thing is when we're storing our icing, I love a large glass or measuring cup because all of my icing will fit in there and not get all over the countertop as we're, we're doing this. And then I've got my trusty kitchen scissors always handy, ready to grab so that I can do this. And then I'm gonna work one color at a time as I'm icing these cookies. So I'm gonna grab my first cookie that I would like to decorate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the caramel dipped part first on the bottom of the cookie. 
And so I'm going to grab my caramel colored icing that I put into the small piping bag and that is included in your kit too. Um, if your icing ever feels too thick, like it can't be piped, all you'd need to do is take and add about a half a teaspoon of water to it and start to stir it so that it was a little bit drippier. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and I'm gonna just snip the very, very end off of this piping bag here. Very, very small, I would say a quarter of an inch. And we're gonna take and we're gonna draw the outline. So we're doing the piping first and then we're gonna fill in that caramel apple area of our cookie as we do this. So I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna, it's very much like coloring in a coloring book. I'm gonna ice around the bottom edge here and then I'm gonna go about two thirds of the way up the apple. And then I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see what we're doing here and hold it up. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna give it a, like just a little swirl so it looks like it was dipped and not just straight across. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna to start to fill in that from the top. So I'm gonna take, this is a really, really nice thick icing and I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna drizzle that and I kind of just do zigzag lines across and making sure that I'm holding the type of the icing bag very, very firmly so that it doesn't squeeze out the top of the piping bag. And then as I get it done, I use actually the tip of the piping bag to kind of do little wiggles to hold and make sure that that icing is smooth and there's no holes in there. And then what you do is you actually can kind of wiggle your cookie and we're gonna take and see if there's any extra holes. I'm gonna come back in and I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit of extra icing if there is. There we go. Give it another wiggle. And as it settles and sets, it's gonna go ahead and it'll kind of nice and glaze up a little bit. Now you do want this to set for probably about 30 seconds to a minute, just because if it's too wet and we add the sprinkles onto this section, then they will force their icing off the edge of the cookies and it'll flood everywhere. And so give it about 30 seconds to set up. And then we've got our sprinkles here and you've got some sprinkles in your kit too. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just take and I'm gonna just sprinkle on this bottom half while it's still tacky and sticky. And you've got your caramel part of your dipped apple right there. Then you continue on and I would do, I would caramel all of the apples right away and just do that step first before you move on to your next color so that when you're done with your caramel, you can take and you can just put it back in your bowl, not all over your countertop. And then working with your green and red icing, you're gonna take and you're gonna do the same technique. We're gonna take and we're gonna just snip off about a quarter of an inch off the end of the bag. And I'm gonna take, and if you've never held or done a bag like this before, what I like to do is I like to kind of use my thumb and pointer finger and I clamp the top of the bag and let it tip down and then let gravity do a lot of the work for you so that you can just take, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this kind of fall and the same concept as before. I'm gonna take, I'm using my non-gripping hand to help guide the icing around the bag and go nice and slow. You do not need to go fast and you're gonna create that little ribbon of icing. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fill in around and just work my way toward the center of that area. And as I do that, the icing is actually gonna spread out too so that you can kind of see how much icing you're gonna need. You don't need that much icing. I would say for each of these cookies, it's maybe a teaspoon of each color if you were measuring out the colors. All right, give it the little wiggle, make sure that there's no holes in there. And then with ro any royal icing, you wanna make sure that it, you let them air dry and set up for at least 12 hours overnight is best, not in the refrigerator. You just want them out in the air so that they can literally air dry and harden into your ice cookies. And then ta-da, you've got beautiful little caramel apple it's on a stick, ready to enjoy later on. So that is our caramel apple, again, couple of key things that I thought were really, really important when we were finding this recipe and putting it together is make sure that your dough is chilled before you roll it out. Once you create your apples and put them on the stick, make sure that you chill the dough again on your baking sheet so that they do not spread out too much into and when you're baking them in the oven. Make sure your oven is preheated, ready to go, so you're not sticking them into a cold oven because that will cause them to spread out as your oven heats up as well. And then remember to be patient, have fun, take your time and with the icing, let gravity be your friend and just let that icing kind of fall around your cookie.
All right, I hope you had fun enjoying decorating these cookies with us today and with this kit. We can't wait to bring you um, our next kit, which is our Halloween Nailed It kit. It is the most adorable unicorn slash witch cake I've ever seen. Bright colors, perfect for the Halloween season.